Challenger Bundu basher guys, check this one out. Nice big heavy duty axle, raised off the floor. Looks about the height of a 4x4 which is pretty cool. Let's have a quick look at the storage man. Um, quick gas bottle in there, space for a battery, you got these, you got little outdoor plugs over here as well, really cool. Here's another one, massive indoor storage section which is really nice. Here's the door on the front, check it around here. Go on this side, even better, another door man. That's pretty generous. You think to yourself, my, my fridge is bigger than that. Got your colour, man. This one here. How big do you need it? Another little battery compartment here. Very cool. Another spot for another gas bottle if you need it here. Massive amount of storage. Up here we got your raised section above your this can open. Except we have a 2 meter by 2.4 uh, Tenko roof tent, which means you won't be able to lift it. We've got a cover in here, homemade maybe. This section is ideal for your tables, your chairs, your extra tarpaulins, your tent poles, all of that stuff. That's really cool. Can you put it back? Let's see. It's a pro. Spare wheel, swings away. Really cool. This bad boy comes down. Look at this. You want space for everything you need. All your grocery stuff, cutlery, you name it. Put it all in here. Best part of this thing, it's all kitted out, ready to go. Maybe it needs a little bit of work. 40 grand to you guys. Come on down to the lot today, because I can't hold for love. Big interest in this one. That's about 100 kilos. <laughs> Quite heavy on the tongue, man. On the front here, we've got a very big section here, which is good for storage. Battery section here, we got some plugs and all that. That's pretty cool. Cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter, holy shit, hang on. That's legit, man. Three. A couple of jerry cans on the front. Diesel. Big water um, container right here. Puts even more weight over here. Don't know if I'm on board with that. Another big tent. People like their big two meter tents here, which is uh, very generous, but for two people, a little bit of overkill. Nice big door here, through the other side. This is pretty cool. Workspace, storage is already in here, four boxes. Over here, you got a little mini kitchen. All your small stuff, which is pretty cool. Big prep area, I kind of like it. Uh, this is 2006, so you got strange little latches. Come around the back. Uh, spare wheel, what do you do with it? A couple of spaces here for some gas bottles which will balance it a little better, hopefully. This is quite novel. I haven't seen this before. You think that's dangerous? It seems to kind of stay there. Match comes up in here. Good drawer. Attachments, which is all very fiddly. I don't know. You tell me about your fridge size. We're not convinced about that. It is a bit clunky. All of this stuff, that, that works okay. Spare wheel goes back. Come around this side. Same as the other side. That's where all your Rover blocks them. You can look that up. A couple more storage areas, and here's the last side to come in on this side. The big trailer, it looks very heavy. It's going to really test your vehicle. Um, am I on board with that? I don't know. The design is quite old, but it is a Conqueror. Conqueror is one of the best names in SA for off road trailers. Quality might be there. You make up your mind. For you, 59 and change. Here's a more compact trailer for you guys with a smaller vehicle maybe, maybe there's two of you on the road, smaller rooftop tent, it's been well tested which is uh, quite nice, might be a little narrow. Uh, in the back here, 
can see what we've got behind door number one. Little uh, cooking gas thing here. There inside we have a nice little thing for your fridge. Check it out. There's glass over there. Look at the outside. It's nice and shiny. Quick latches. It's doing all its work. Tires are in a good nick. Hey, for away, you're ready to go, man. You know you want it, don't you? You like a bit of bling. You like all the sparkly stuff. You like a bit of 70s style. All you need now is a nice, big, thick moustache, a bit of chest hair, and V6 Johnson hanging out the back. I like it. What's a bundu basher? Let me show you, man. Typical South African term. This is a fented trailer, means a lot thinner than the one next door, which is quite nice. Big storage area in the front. Here we have one door only, with some generous trays here. And they also fall out if you go and watch out, which is quite handy, so you can load them pretty well. This looks like a prep area. You might need a board or something on it. All right, one of these swing away spare wheels. The back, nothing to ride home about. Very generous. Doesn't have a fridge slide though, so you might have to do that by yourself. Up here, looks like space for uh, fold up tables, fold up chairs, all of that stuff, which might be handy. This side, there's no access into the trailer. Uh, jerry can, gas bottle, water can. That's it, nice and simple. It seems a lot lighter, which is quite nice. I don't like the practicality of it, you won't get to stuff everywhere. It's all one sided and very narrow. There you have it, man. Another fenter, it looks like more of a home brew, this one. Uh, you got a little front section here. Okay, drainage as a guess. Uh, this is a double stack fenter trailer, which you get here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it hinges at the top only. And not only that, everything, including the kitchen sink, have you ever seen anything like this? I guarantee you, you have not. Even around the back, there's a little bit of action going on here. Prep area. What more do you want? The only downside with this one is you have to open everything from the top. Hinged. This thing weighs about 80 kilos already. Now you're lifting everything. Once you've got your camp set up, you need to get something in there, you've got a problem. But hey, Points, bonus points and props for kitchen sink dude.